Here, you'll join me right after I've come upon a large snake in the woods of Holyoke, Massachusetts. I was careful while videotaping, and you'll hear me narrating my discovery. All right, we've come across a really cool snake. I'm not gonna get too close, so I'm gonna keep this quick so I don't scare it away. But here it is. While I'm observing the snake, I'm trying to look for anything that might help me identify it. I need to think about what information that I'm getting right now by looking at it and what information I already know about snakes. The tail goes all the way back there. Big, oh, good four feet long. So what do I know by just looking at it? Well, I know that it lives in Western Massachusetts and that it's large and mostly all black. Uh, thankfully, none of the venomous snakes in Massachusetts are all black, so that's a relief. My hypothesis is that it's one of two species of snake, a black rat snake or a black racer. Both of these species can be found in Massachusetts and are mostly all black as adults. Both range in size of four feet to five and a half feet, which is about how big this snake is. Uh, to get more information, I decided to look at it from another angle to look at its whole body. There it is from another angle. Hopefully you can see its tongue flick. The reason I'm looking at the head here closely is because one big difference between the black racer and the black rat snake is the shape of its head. The black racer has a jaw that's the same width as his body and has a more slender head, while the black rat snake you can see in the picture on the right, has a, a neck that narrows and has jaws that flare out that make them um, much wider than the body and they create a kind of arrow-shaped head. While the snake was mostly staying still, I carefully moved around it to look a little bit closer at its body and to see if it was doing anything behaviorally that maybe could help me identify it. And I was able to see something very special. It's moving its tail right there because I'm very close to it and it's pretending that it's got a rattle on its tail it's doing a fake rattle ah, look at that so what the snake is doing here is called tail vibration the snake rapidly shakes its tail in some dry leaves and makes this sound that's usually a response to some sort of predator or threat now the tail vibration could be some warning signal that says stay away but it also might be a diversion that could distract the predator or threat um, away from the head and that's where its important vulnerable parts are towards the tail. There it is, look at that. Just trying to figure out what type of enemy I am, if I'm a danger to it or not. I'm a predator. That's amazing. So long. It's so cool to see this. <laughs> Another thing that's hard to see in this video is the underbelly of the snake. If we could have seen the underbelly, that would have really helped. So the underbelly scales, called scutes, that are on the racer are all white. And while the rat snakes have kind of white scutes, they have patchy black and white scutes. To be certain exactly which snake this was, we would have had to get very close or see it eat something. So just so you know, there are some pictures coming up of snakes eating things. So the racer, it eats small animals, insects, birds, frogs, lizards, or even other snakes, as you can see here. Racers are super fast, that's why they're called racers, and they speed after their prey and they pin it with their coils or swallow it alive. The rat snake, on the other hand, eats small rodents like rats, mice, chipmunks, and voles, but it's a constrictor, which means that it uses its body to constrict or squeeze its prey very tightly to kill it before uh, swallowing it. Thanks for sharing this really exciting discovery with me. And if you want to learn more about snakes or how to identify them, you can go to this link, which I will also post in the description below. Thanks so much. All right, little guy, I'm gonna leave you alone.